Okay, so today I'm with Docky Castle to take the tour and I'm really excited. I don't know, what is wrong with me lately? I'm like loving history. What is happening? So my friend Claire told me about this tour in Docky Castle where they basically like have actors and they dress up and they transport you back in time to when Docky was like the hub of Ireland, basically. There's really cool new mug designs in my merch shop, by the way. So anyway, as soon as I heard costumes, I was all in. So the way that it works is that you head out to Docky Castle and the tour starts with a presentation that tells you some much needed historical information about the area. You quickly look at all the famous writers that have come from Docky. You then head out to the grounds of Docky Castle. You learn a bit about the graveyard, about the trees. I'm sorry it's quite bright today, but we won't complain about the sunshine. <laughs> we don't get enough of it at all. So I don't know if you're familiar with yew trees. Yeah. Well, you find them in graveyards here in Ireland. They were very important to the Celts and the Druids. They thought that these trees were magical. They thought the roots went down uh, to the underworld. And then suddenly, the actors take over. Let me introduce myself. My name is Magnus Maxwell, and I am a travelling barber surgeon. Now, of course, there are many services on offer this day. Oh, uh, do not concern yourselves with the blood upon my apron. Tis merely from previous patients, and all did survive. Well, nearly all. Would you care for a shave with this instrument, sir? Does anybody have a troublesome tooth in their mouth? If you do, I should remove it with this instrument within a matter of minutes. What then of an amputation? Now, you are very fortunate, for today there is a special offer, only for today, two fingers for the price of one. Afterwards, I should take the pole and place it outside my shop. The reason being to dry the bandages, and in the wind, the bandages would wrap around the pole. So a passerby would see the red blood and the white bandages, and they would know that a barber surgeon was at work inside. And that, of course, is the barber's red and white pole. This is where we torment our foreign students. And we ask them, why do you think it's a small door? We always make our way to leprechauns. <laughs> but nothing to, do, nothing to do with leprechauns. The uh, graveyard has had burials in it since the 10th century. There are about 2,300 people buried in here. So it's a lot of people in a very small space and what has happened is the ground has come up. This is built for me, <laughs> not for many other people. Now come and have a look through these windows here. You're looking straight into the yew tree there and it's a very good uh, look at the branches. They curve upwards, they're nice and bendy, slender, nice and pliable, very, very important to the archer of the castle. And here he is. Good day to you, Rupert. While you're here at the house, uh, I'll be keeping a watch for any enemies who try to attack us in this place. Yes, we've got a couple of savage families living in the hills to the south. Have you seen any of these people today? No, that's because I'm killing them. Everyone needs a hobby. Now, to stop the enemy, I'm up upon uh, the battlements at the top of the house with this weapon here. This is the longbow. Very light, very flexible, gets you good reach on your arrows. Now, you cut those down from the top, tie on the goose trimmings there, and then you shape the tips in different ways to do different things. Now, this one here is the swallowtail. Any ideas what this one is for? Rips your guts out. Ripping your guts out. That's, that's quite the violent answer there, my lady. Yes. Ripping the guts out. No, but I like your style. Now this one here is the sickle arrow, the sickle arrow. I'm very much looking forward to your suggestion, my lady. Any ideas what this one might be for? To trim in a mustache. Sorry, to trim a mustache. My lord, good news. We've got an arrow here for your, for your face, yes. It's not a shaving arrow. It is a design of enemies are on horseback. So you've got this curve rather than a point in which you can stop a horse in his run and he throws the enemy off the back. So it's goodbye enemy and hello to your brand new horse. See, we need horses because here in this town, all of the ships from around the world, they come to Ireland through Dawkey first. So we go down to the waters just down the street there, collect all of the materials coming off off the boats, onto the carts, and then the horses to the seven storage areas in the town, nice and quickly. Would you like to see inside the house today? I, I can take you there. Yeah. 
Follow me, come along. <laughs> now we have arrived at the entrance to the house here. This is the only entrance into the building. And I must warn you that the next room is the murder room. What happens is uh, in the murder room above it, we have a murder hole. So we're at the bottom and a guard at the top is watching down. So if he spots enemies trying to get in, he drops things on their heads. Things like boiling water and indeed the boiling urine for uh, not even the waste goes to waste. Now that one made you laugh, my lady. Interesting, yes. Are you drinking the wine tonight? Probably not. All right, no. Well, if you are and you change your mind, if you wish to make a donation to the murder hall, we'll take it. <laughs> so welcome all to the top of the house here. This area is the battlements. This is where I, I come every day to perform my work. Now, when the boats are arriving, we have to work very, very quickly because sometimes pirates are a problem for us. Are you troubled by pirates in your lands? If they ever bother you, I recommend this arrow right here. What happens is you tie a rag in through the tip there you set fire to the rag and then you're shooting the sails of the pirate ships. Now working outside today is a very nice day. If the rain returns, we still must work, but there is a shelter which is over here. Let's have a look at the shelter. Would you like to try it, my lady? You can stand inside. Would you like to try for three, my lord? You can sure. jump in, yes? There you are. The record is 15. <laughs> now, and now tell me, do you see anyone out on the street today that you do not like? <laughs> You have to remember, we are here to defend the house, not to attack anyone. So if any enemies are approaching, we warn them away first. Any ideas how we warn the enemies off? What we do is to save uh, the energy is we shout at them. Yeah. Would you like to shout anything at a, a particular savage today? How about we shout savages? When you are shouting savages, make sure you are showing them the two fingers in the sky like that. Oh, I see you've done that to your enemies before, my lady. No, do you have... Husband. Do your husband. I like you. Let's give a good two fingers and shout savages at the enemies today. In three, two, one. Savages! Now, the reason behind the two fingers is showing them that you're standing here, you are working, and reminding them that if they come on the attack, you have your two fingers ready to pull the string of your longbow back and shoot them. The disadvantage is if they catch you, they'll cut your fingers off. So if you escape, you can't do your work any longer. I probably should have mentioned that earlier before you all went and did it, but that's my mistake. Forgive me. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so. <laughs> It's Ireland, it's supposed to rain. <laughs> no one comes here for the weather, my friend. <laughs> Has it rained on you yet? Not really, no. Yeah. Consider it part of the Irish experience. A good Irish rain. So welcome all back to the living quarters. Did you enjoy the trip to the battlements? Now that we have arrived inside, I must ask you now to please respect the house rules. No spitting on the table and no spitting on the floor. Oh, good day to you, Lord. Good day to you. Lords and ladies, very nice to meet you all. Enjoy your visit to the house. Good day to you. Good day. Tonight, myself and my servant friends shall upon my poor dead uncle's goose. Oh, yes. A goose may be a mad and angry animal. So why keep him, you ask? Well, since the Lord and his vassals are the only ones permitted to keep dogs, us poorer folk do keep a goose as a guard. Oh, yes. For if it is disturbed in the night, a goose will make such a raucous and unholy that no man alive would dare sleep through it, so they keep us nice and safe. I'm obviously not showing you the whole tour, I'm showing you snippets from each, because I want you to get a taste for the experience and to want to go do the experience yourself. I don't want to ruin it for you. But what I will say is that I really loved how these actors interacted with the tour group, as if we were all back in that time. Hello there. Morning. Good morning. How are you today? Great, thank you. Where are you from? Greystone. I know it. Hello there. <laughs> Where are you from? California. California, wow, I've never heard of it. Where are you from? I'm from the New World. The New World? The Americas? Yes. <laughs> a great distance you've traveled, yes. Did you have a good time on the ship? It took me 18 weeks. 18 weeks? That's a fast ship. <laughs> well done. Takes you that long to get to Galway. <laughs> well, welcome to the house. While you're here, I'll be in charge of your safety, keeping watch for our enemies. A couple oh, I didn't see you there. Hello. Hello. Where are you from? Texas. No, I don't know it. Next to California. Is it? <laughs> my lady, this is your lucky day. And where does that hail from, my lord? Uh, United States. 
Oh, you mean the Americas? Well, I don't know what state the Americas are in, but I have heard of America indeed. Yes, indeed. How long did it take you to come over? Uh, nine hours. Nine hours. <laughs> You must be joking. <laughs> you must think I'm an awful idiot. <laughs> nine hours. You wouldn't get up from Kerry at nine hours. <laughs> what kind of a boat was that? A boat goes under the sky. Oh, he's been under herbs. Yes, indeed. I know all about you. Yes, indeed. I'll be cure for that as well. Yes, indeed. <laughs> We finished the tour with a little bit more history and then I was brought on a walk of Dorky. We have guided walks, historical walks and we have literary walks as well because there are a lot of writers related to the area. And what I didn't know about Dorky, and what I didn't know about Dorky is how passionate it is and how many people live in literal castles. It's a mock castle. It's someone who's recreated a house in the shape of a castle. No, so that's like somebody's house that's they're living somebody's in. That's somebody's house that they're living in. Oh my God. As you do. Oh my God. When I win the lot on it, I've decided I'm going to buy one of the houses that's a fake castle. <laughs> so this is our one bedroom cottage. Beautiful red door, nice little window boxes. Johnny set you back 1.2 million. I came home and I told Alex that I'd like to live in Dorky. Alex, mm -hmm. I'd like to live in Dorky. Mm. I'd like to live in Aylesbury Road. We finished our walk with a lovely walk in the park. One of the most Im impressive things are dawn and sunset here. So we often bring a picnic or come down in the evening and sit down with a blanket and just look out over that view. I wanted to get this video up this week because there's so much happening in Dawkey over the summer. Even starting on the 15th to the 18th is the Dawkey Book Festival. And that is just the first of many things happening over the next couple of months in Dawkey. So in June, there's a vintage car festival around the 5th of June. Then we have Bloomsday, which is a celebration of all things James Joyce. It's on the 16th of June. After Bloomsday, there's the Dorky Book Festival, which it also runs in June. And then in August, we have a lobster festival. And then in October, we have Maeve Finchie Echoes Festival. So Maeve lived here. And uh, we have a Irish Writers Festival. Then we have Halloween, so that we'll find the witches and ghouls and goblins out here. And we have Christmas at the castle as well so we have Santa Claus up in the loads quarters of... loads going on all the links are down below in the description check out everything that's happening in Dorky and head out and take a look at the castles and you tell me you don't want to live in Dorky you come back and you tell Alexander that it's it makes no sense for Claire to want to live in Dorky in an actual castle <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. If you're interested in supporting the channel and in your position to do so, please consider becoming a patron. Patrons fund this whole channel. They make this all this content possible. And in return, I give them exclusive content, free digital downloads, a merch discount, exclusive live streams and more. If you're not in a position to do that, just watch, like and share the videos and it really helps me out with the old YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Slán, slán.